Barcelona hosted the Scottish champions Celtic yesterday at the new camp. Now, let me just preface this very, very quickly before we get into our analysis and breakdown of what happened. We are not allowed to show any more video highlights because of copyright. I know it blows, but look. I threw in a link in the description below, so if you want to check that out, pause this video, go watch that, and then travel on back here. I'll give you a minute to do so. Oh, hello there. Glad you're back. We start in the 18th minute. Mogru's left-footed cross into the box, and Giorgio Samaras puts a head to it. It goes off Javier Mascarano's shoulder, filling in at center back, and goes into the back of the net. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, it goes into the back of the net? You're telling me Barcelona conceded and are losing at the new Camp? Tell me if you saw this happening. Either way, uh, you can't blame Victor Valdez for this one. And unfortunately, it just took a bad bounce. It's debatable uh, whether it's an own goal or not. Either way, Celtic are ahead thanks to their Greek forward, his sixth goal of the season. So now we go ahead to the 45th minute. Barcelona on the attack. Messi, Iniesta, Xavi slips the pass back to Iniesta and slots it in the right corner. They're passing, guys, and I know that they are known for this, but it's simply dazzling. will absolutely put you to sleep is Barcelona's movement off the ball and precision passing. So we're back level 1-1, and you know what hurts most? It was right before halftime. So now we move to the second half. As a matter of fact, we move ahead to stoppage time. As a matter of fact, it's the 94th minute, still 1-1. Barcelona needing a goal to go ahead. Celtic giving up 82% of the possession percentage in this match, trying not to concede. And what would happen? Adriano would send in a cross, and Jordi Alba, the newcomer, makes a great run to the back post and just puts his studs on it. And the ball finds the back of the net for Barcelona. If you're a Celtic fan, you're thinking that you had the draw and you let it slip through your damn fingers. 2-1 would be the final on this day, obviously, as I just broke down, for Barcelona. My take on this, if you have one concern and one flaw and one chink in the armor of Barcelona, it would have to be that they don't have big guys on their back line. Look, Gerard Piquet and Carlos Puyol are injured. You put Javier Mascarano back there, that's totally fine because you know what? He usually plays, uh, he usually plays the role of se uh, center defensive midfielder. But uh, overall, uh, they don't have height. It's the biggest flaw they have. That's why you saw Samaras towering over Javier Mascarano, shoving the little guy aside as he has so many inches on him. You simply can't teach height like that, and Barcelona needs it. They even started Mark Batra, but he's only five foot nine. So that's the one flaw that I personally see. Also, David Villa had a, what seemed like a good game, you know, golf clap for him. He hit the post in stoppage time, which was totally unlucky. We probably would be saying uh, probably different stuff about David Villa if he were to hit that shot. But overall, good game for him. Uh, lots of chances for Barcelona, just unlucky. Messi had a curling free kick over the wall that almost went in. Alexis Sanchez had a, a good game. Uh, also had a chance in the opening what seemed like three minutes of this match. So overall, my take on Barcelona in this game, tons of chances. Unfortunately, it was just that kind of day where they needed a late goal to win. Sometimes, you know what, you have a bunch of chances, you don't produce goals. This was one of those days, but they still come away with the win 2-1. Now the remaining schedule, for Barcelona, who are now 3-0 in Group G, they face Celtic in Glasgow November 7th at Spartak in Moscow November 20th, and they host Benfica December 5th. Same dates for Celtic. They host Barcelona, they head to Portugal to play Benfica November 20th, and they close out against Spartak in Scotland. We take a look at the standings, Barcelona leading the group, Celtic five points behind, then Spartak, and surprisingly, Benfica sitting in last place in Group G with one point. Who the hell would have known and thought that? So we want to hear all of your thoughts as always. I'd love to talk to all of you. Tweet those at me, at Rick Strom. We could have a conversation, whether it's about football or whether it's about what kind of Capri Sun you like. I don't really give a shit. Tweet at me, at Rick Strom. Our Facebook page is in the description below. Leave your comments in the comments section below. You guys can help have a healthy conversation. I believe in all of you. And please do us a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.